Hey Pooh, welcome to this week's episode of From IG to YT, where I take the Cranberry Canada Dry with the Hospital Crush Ice and serve it to you here on YouTube. If you would like to help the channel create daily content, please check out my PayPal link in the description box below. I truly appreciate that. So I wanted to quickly come tell you guys about this juice on Cash Doll and Nicki Minaj. If you aren't aware, there was some so-called beef between Cash Doll and Cardi because Cardi received the Spirit Award in Detroit, which is Cash Doll's hometown. When Cardi received this award, Cash Doll and Jessica Dine went live and explained how they felt it wasn't fair that Cardi received this award. There was also a single that Cash did with YG, which he decided not to do with her, and he put Cardi on a record. These two things and some behind-the-scenes things caused a little tension between both ladies. So recently, Cash Doll did an interview with Hollywood Unlocked. Like, all right, let's be clear. Any Nicki feature is like, hell, I got a Nicki feature. That's Nicki. Like, you can't just say she wasted it. That's yeah, just, okay. nah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like, I didn't no, like, man, I'm not agreeing with you, bro. She said, I didn't mean like that. She went, no, you did. You said bro, that was crazy. I didn't mean like that. That's Nicki. Anybody gonna, like, you got your hot moment and Nicki gonna hot moment. <laughs> yeah. you, gonna, you gonna do what you got. I'm waiting for Nicki to come up here. And I'm waiting for her. Yeah. She can't come up here. Look what you just said. <laughs> that girl's on her honeymoon. She came back out. She's welcome to come up here. Yeah, that is so exciting. I'm so happy for her. Yeah, nice. Well, we all gonna be able to find out where she lives now. Why? Because he's a registered sex offender. So wherever he moves, we gotta be able to dig up. I'm done. All right, Cardi, you ever met? I met Cardi back in, uh, like, 2000. 15, 16, no, like 17. Well, I'm talking about 15. Like 17, she came to Detroit to like one of our big parties called like the white party, and I came out to see her. Why has there just been like a weird thing the internet is trying to create between you two that I know doesn't exist because she's never said a bad word about you? And you I never said nothing bad? I don't have nothing bad to say about her. It was all a misunderstanding. Let me, I, since I have a platform to clear this up, because I don't know if I would ever be able to speak with her or whatever. Well, I'm going to tell her. You but, don't like to tell. I'm going to say No, I don't have an issue with Cardi. I never had an issue with Cardi. I like Cardi. I do. And, I, you know, like we both come from the same, same world. You know what I'm saying? And making it. The internet is crazy. So back in like, back in like 2017, uh, they, it was a post talking about like she got the spiritual Detroit award or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she's clearly not from Detroit. I remember that. Yeah. Detroit yeah. was pissed. Mm -hmm. They're like, you got the platform, you ain't gonna speak on it. Which I was kind of feeling like, y'all giving these out. It took me three years to get this. You know what I'm saying? To come out and do all this. I was speaking to Detroit, not her. Because yeah. then I even spoke on when they gave other people. Mm -hmm. And then even Delicious didn't have one. And you know, she's mm -hmm. one of Detroit's mm -hmm. women. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So that's all I said. The internet blew it up. I was hating on Cardi for getting into this and that. And I wouldn't. So I was really speaking for the city and just talking about them in general doing it too. They gave, they didn't, it wasn't just her. They gave it to a few people. I, I learned my lesson from it because they made it bigger than what it was. So that, that started it. And shoot. I don't know. I supposedly back in when I was I was about to go to like birthday bash and it was when she was pregnant. My friend told me that she was trying to come see what's up. Like, 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 what's up, what's up, like no, I was like, know. I was, was like, pregnant? yeah. And I was like, oh, I was, my friend said told me that. And I was like, you serious? She like, yeah. Oh, and then the record, mm. the run record, does she bad record? Mm -hmm. Why did you send it to me? I said, yeah, it was that. Yeah, was that. Mm -hmm. So that was second. Okay. So I think this was. So it's after. like those things are just kind of creating this beat that don't exist. And I swear them. to God, on my dead grave, I don't have no problem with her. Congratulations to her. I'm happy for her. I have no problem. with her. Yeah. I don't want people to see. I say I have a problem. I'm not mad at nobody. What God got for me, for me, what got for her, for her. I'm not jealous of nobody. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I don't like that. Oh, I mean, the only reason I spoke on this with you because I want to put that out there. I well, I'll make sure she gets the memo person. But let me ask you this because she and I were talking this morning. She's in London filming a movie, but she was uh, asking me what I thought about her tweet. She was tweeting where somebody had said in an interview, or they had claimed in an interview that she she's claiming to have brought back female rap, and that's not what she oh. said. What she said was that back when she first came into the game, like, there were a lot of female rappers rapping, but the industry and the media wasn't allowing there to be more than one. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I feel like if the game is to make it, I'm gonna get my bag regardless. I've been getting my bag since 2014, so I'm not gonna say I didn't get money because you know this person was the only person rapping. I've been getting money since 2014. I've been getting for a long time, so I'm not gonna say that. But I can see what she's saying. I can't say that she made it easy. Like people didn't like it was so it was such a to a point where. Like, it was like, you have to be a certain type of rapper in order to... Like commercial? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like she made it easier for them to pay attention to her people. I, I can't mm -hmm. say that because of, even from her being a girl from New York, mm -hmm. you know, the Bronx, Bronx and coming from the dancing world and, you know, doing, like, coming from Love Hip Hop, I feel like it opened people's eyes more. Like, okay, it is more women out here. That, I, that's I, I, I was out back in 2014, and, you know, like, I, I agree. I, I don't think nothing wrong with what she said mm -hmm. because she actually came out and made it big, too. Mm -hmm. You know, like, where Nikki is at? Like, she... she on that platform too, and I hope these motherfuckers gonna come fuck with me over this, but I gotta be 1,000 with myself. She has did things to where it was, it, she made it easier. Like, you know, it wasn't like the bar wasn't so high for you to, to get a deal. It was like, okay, because she came in and she did her thing. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, this girl probably got potential. This girl probably got potential. That's what I think. I think it's good to see so many of you women that just in rap that have that confidence. I mean, mm -hmm. just in sitting there. I, see, let me say something about me, though. I've always, you just have I always been like that. You know what I'm saying? I was stuck in a contract in that era yeah. of when, you know, those doors were opening up because she came it was a bad deal. It was real bad. So, Cash Doll and Cardi B linked up after that interview and they were seen out partying together. And I was happy to see that because there was no need for both ladies to be at odd in my uno. So, everyone knows Cash Doll has spoken highly of Nicki Minaj. She always show her love, shouts her out, however, comma. Nicki wasn't too pleased with what Cash Doll said or what she had to say in that Hollywood Unlock interview. So she DM Cash and they got into it. Fans started to notice Cash no longer followed Nicki Minaj and started dragging her. So she just went live and here's what she had to say. I've been I've been stating that. I've been saying it over and over. 
again. What the fuck? Girl, I knew this was gonna happen. Leave me alone. I don't want to be beefing with nobody. Leave me alone. 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 Y'all motherfuckers don't like me anyway. So what y'all acting like y'all like me for now? Like y'all disappointed? Fuck y'all motherfuckers. Who gonna beat my ass? Nobody. Bitch. Fuck. Not y'all. So as soon as I saw that clip of Cardi and Cash together, I knew there was going to be. Trouble. Trouble. 
Girl, I didn't even have to count five, four, three, two, one. All I had to say was one. I knew it was going to be trouble, girl. So because we all know Nikki and Cardi don't F with each other, and Nikki has a reputation of not fucking with people who choose not to follow her lead, especially when it comes to Cardi. Plus, I don't know if you guys remember, back when Queen Radio first started, Nikki asked Cash to come on and talk to Asian the Brat about their differences, and Cash declined. So I felt like that left a bad taste in Nikki's mouth because who denies the queen? Anyway, leave your uno in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next episode of From IG to YT. Later, boo.